Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. You guys can tell this box is open. It's open. Every single time I unbox these things live in front of you guys, but for this one, I had to open it up and I'll get to the reason why I had to. It wasn't a good reason, but yeah, I'll show you guys why. Still gonna go through the box with you guys, but I didn't wanna like fake it and pretend like I didn't know what was in here when I do because I had to open it. I will tell you guys why. I have an explanation for you and it kind of sucks. Anyway, stay tuned. This will be a beater box episode and we'll get right into it right after this. The beat breaks and your teeth break. Keep your canines embedded in my knuckles as a keepsake. It was seen your veneers, just mere souvenirs falling out your mouth and on to the landscape. Me and LP do the secret. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here coming at you once again with another beater box episode. But this beater box is opened. But the reason why it's open and the reason why I'm not doing like a live unboxing is because the box seems sketchy. It seems sketchy. So I buy these things from Soul Supremacy. If you guys have never checked out Soul Supremacy, I have them linked in the description below. That's where I get all my beater boxes. They have a ton of shoes on their site as well, but I think the beater box memberships are still closed. I would say that they might open more in 2019. So yeah, I would go check out their Twitter or Instagram, mainly their Twitter. If you guys wanna try to get a membership, go follow them over there. So they are based out in California. I'm based in Hawaii. This box usually weighs like 20 pounds and most of the time it's like sealed very, very nicely. This time it was not. I put a picture up over here so you guys can see this is what it looked like when I claimed the box and you guys can even see that tag on there that says received unsealed. So for me, I wasn't sure if this was like tampering or something with the box, like, like somebody from USPS or something maybe opened the box and took out shoes. I had no idea. But look at the picture, man. The thing is like very easy to like grab out whatever loose shoes are in there. You could potentially even like open up a box and pull out shoes from there. So granted, I was scared. I mean, this is a $900 investment for me. It was already halfway open. I was like, screw it. I need to open it up to figure out did anybody steal my stuff in here? Um, I did open it up and I did take a quick look through the shoes. It does appear that there will still be value on this box. I didn't get super deep into it, like looking at the exact numbers and stuff. I still wanted to try to make an authentic video as best I could. But yeah, for the most part, I just want to make sure there was still value in there and that there was at least a money shoe, which there is, thankfully. So yeah, that was good. But I mean, with all this stuff going on with like these Nike branded boxes getting stolen, holiday season, shipping is crazy. Everything is like all over the place and it's just chaos. You can't be too sure. So I don't think this was Soul Supremacy's fault. I think it was just some kind of mishap with USPS. There was no loose shoes in this box. So if there was supposed to be loose shoes in this box, we will not know. But yeah, just watch along with the video and we'll just try to follow along and see if there's actually value here. Like I said, it is a $900 box and I would assume that there's at least a couple hundred dollars of value on that. So without any more talking, I am upset, but I still want to open this up with you guys and just share in the beater boxes with y'all. So let's get into it guys, $900. I don't even need this. We're just going to open it up. This is so weird. Okay. So the first thing that we got here is a Jordan 14 size nine and a half. I think these are called last shots, last shots or something like that. This one is definitely used bottoms, used leather, pretty used. I mean, it does have the original box, but these things are actually from 2011. So that's seven years of age, guys. I'm not sure what the value is on this one, but you guys can follow along in the price counter over here where the competitive market value for these shoes are. I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel. The way I get these numbers is by looking at like eBay, looking at the Goat app, looking at a whole bunch of factors that, you know, sell you shoes and just finding that median competitive market pricing. Size nine and a half, Jordan 14. Next up is a half box. Um, this one is an Air Footscape Mag Magista, Magista, size 13. No idea what that is. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what it is. But yeah, whatever this is, it's used, I think. Yeah, used. Um, Weird zipper on the back too, so I don't know. Is this a popular shoe? Is it a popular model? I'm not too sure. The colorway is clean. I mean, it's just a black and gold aesthetic, which is cool. Yeah, it kind of matches the shirt actually, not too bad. <laughs> No idea what the value is on this. Size 13 though, says it up here. I see it after the video. All right, next shoe out is a Jordan 4 box, right on. Uh, this is a Jordan 4, size nine and a half. And this is a pair of the Jordan 4 Breads, which supposedly are supposed to re-release next year. So I can see why Soul wants to get rid of these now. But as you guys can see, this is like one of the best colorways of the Jordan 4 line. It has the same kind of look as the Bread Jordan 1, which is a lot of gray, black, white, and red. Um, this one is obviously used. It is a size nine and a half and the condition is mm, not too bad. Again, I'm not sure what the market will be with these since there is a supposed re-release, but 
I mean, they've been saying that about like the lightnings for years now and it's never re-released. Until there's like official like word from Nike, it's hard to say like if the actual release is gonna happen or not. Great colorway though. Any collector should have a bread four in there. I probably should have not sold mine. I kind of want another one. The problem is the paint shipping on the insole. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, size 10 and a half CDP pack, only half though. And we got the 18 model, so that's the bad side of the pack. What is this? Do these, are these supposed to come with these brushes? Cause this is cool. I've never seen a Jordan brush before. I'm not sure if that's supposed to come with the pack. I kind of like that though. I might end up keeping just that. But you guys can see over here, this is the Jordan 18. Again, bread colorway used obviously. But yeah, the 18, a lot of people don't really feel these. Honestly, like most shoes after the 14, it's like a common thing that quality and the overall look of the shoe, uh, it just kind of went down. So there's a lot of diehard like 18 collectors though. So this will definitely sell. It's just, I'm not too sure who. Probably an OG sneakerhead because the new era, they're they're pretty choosy with their Jordans. Okay, we got three shoes left. Nine and a half foam posits. And this one is the pewters or the, this one is the coppers. I think this is called the coppers. This one is from 2009. So pretty old man that's like nine years old but you guys can see it is used obviously um bottoms dirtied up some scratches over here but other than that it doesn't look too bad and i mean foam posits are sneaky like sellers there's a lot of people that love foam posits so i'm pretty sure that these will have an easy time to move even if they are old foam posits they have good longevity to them so nine and a half if you guys want them it will be on the web store link in the description below uh jordan seven nine and a half and I think these are called the Hair 7s or Bugs Bunny 7s. Um, one of those things. But you guys can see over here it is used again. Doesn't look too scratched up, thankfully. I mean, there's a little bit of scratching up here. Other than that, though, it still feels like in solid shape. You guys can see the leather isn't very worn on the back heel. Which is a good sign that it wasn't, like, heavily, heavily used. 2015, so a lot more life in that one probably than a couple of the other older pairs. Last but not least, the money shoe, which I'm thankful that was not stolen. Because if people knew what to look for, they would have went for this one first. You guys know what it is. This is a pair of the Sean Weatherspoons, size 10. So that's a great size. And as you guys can see over here, it is in like immaculate condition, guys. Immaculate, like very, very lightly used on the bottoms. You can tell maybe it was like tried on or worn once. Um, no markings other than that. And I think it has all the laces and stuff in here as well. So yeah, just another added bonus for the shoe. I'm not sure where the market is for this anymore. I think it's still like about $500 or so. But if you guys watched that vlog, which I hope you guys all did, which is a recent video, I think maybe the most recent video, everybody was saying that was sneaker of the year. These weather spoons were supposed to be like the most hype thing. You guys know Sean, he's from Round 2 Store, designed the shoe himself. Um, And yeah, I don't know. I, I was never about it. I still am not about it. I don't think I can fit a size 10 of them either. So it'll be going up on the web store. And I think, like I was saying, it's about 500 bucks. I don't know what the final valuation of this box is. I want to say, and I hope and I pray because I'm going to do this after and I don't know what it says on screen that it's over $900. If the loose shoes were anything rare and they were stolen, that would be very, very unfortunate. And I'm sure you guys would see it like instantly when you guys look at the price counter over here because Soul is pretty good about this, man. Like if you buy a box, you're gonna be getting more money than you paid for. So there's a clear discrepancy here. I'm gonna be pretty sad. Um, it's the first sketchy thing that I've seen in like two years though. So I mean, I hope it's just a one-time deal and I hope that the box gets just taped up a lot better this time around because yeah, it's, it, it's hard, it's hard, dude. So anyway that is it for this box yeah a lot different than it normally was obviously I can't get like more excited to open something that I've already seen and know about so yeah it's a little bit different but that's why we like to try to keep it organic and that's why I open everything on screen with you guys so I can be surprised with you guys so like I said hopefully a one-time thing uh, thank you guys again for watching this video though I will be running a giveaway very very soon so I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel now because the next video it's a secret there will be a huge giveaway just in time for Christmas so Stay tuned for that, guys. And again, thank you guys again for watching this video. And until next time, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. I'll see you. Aloha. Shoots.